Hi everyone, this is Seas. In this video, I am in a, in a gorgeous place in Ohio called Stan Hewitt Hall. I love coming here with my kids. They love it, I love it. We can just be here all day, every day, and not get tired of this place. It has gorgeous landscaping. It's just beautiful here. There's music here in the background. Uh, it has like a sensor when you walk. The sensor activates the music, it acti activates bubbles, super magical, the kids love it, it's insane. I'm getting the chills on my head, on my scalp, because this just, it's just beautiful. Sorry about my voice, sounds really weird, I know it sounds weird in here. I'm in a separate room in my house, it's, I call it the cafe, it's like the, it's like a breakfast room for the kids, and I'm in here with my laptop right now. I was eating something and I'm just here trying to edit this video now and my room's pretty warm so I just thought I'd do this here downstairs. So here's this gorgeous two-door playhouse, super adorable. I'm kind of doing an out and about. I'm sort of doing my out and about today at this gorgeous place and I just think it's super beautiful. I thought I'd share this area with um, some of you who don't live in Ohio. Maybe you don't have the opportunity to come visit this place and I thought it would be really nice if I could show you um, in a short video some of the landscaping and I didn't want to I didn't want to take Hi, this baby. video inside because I didn't know if I would uh, be told that I couldn't make a video inside of the house. So I just figured I, I would be fine making a video outside. So that's what I'm doing in this video, just kind of showing you the landscaping. And my nails, of course. And maybe a little bit of scratching here and there. And a lot of commentary. This place is full of trees. It's... It's out in uh, northeast Ohio, and it's super beautiful, super gorgeous. This used to belong to the Sieberling family, and I, I want to say it was the early 1900s, and the Sieberlings, that was the family that, um, they had something to do with Goodyear tires. They either invented the the rubber or... They invented something with rubber and tires. This family had enough money to build this gorgeous mansion. So they had money. Oh, look at this place right there. I just passed it. A little water comes out from there. It's like little, it's just water that comes out. Kids love it. Anyway, the Sieberlings, um, they were very wealthy and I mean, there's still a Goodyear Heights in Akron, and there's a bunch of stuff with the Sieberling's name on it. So they're everywhere. Even though they're gone, they left behind this gorgeous place, and people can go and visit, and it's just super beautiful. I absolutely love this place. I think anyone that visits Ohio should definitely go to Stan Hewitt Hall and check it out. I, I want to say it's not that expensive. Um, maybe about $10 to get in for adults and kids. Five and under are free. and oh, I think it's six and under are free. I'm not sure. Can't think right now. This editing... Let me just say something real quick. Kindmaster on... I, I'm using a Samsung... Uh, Samsung something. Let me look at my phone real quick. Galaxy Mega. That's what I use to to make my videos, and um, I'm using this gorgeous app called Kindmaster. I just want to say that this app is awesome. I'm messing around with a lot of the editing, a lot of the editing on this phone, and it's super amazing. A lot of this stuff is just really cool, and. 
I really think that anyone who does videos would really love if you do videos on your phone and it's a waste of time for you to just go to your computer and try to transfer everything to your computer and edit it there. If you don't want to do all that, you can just edit your stuff on your phone. This editing stuff for your Android, it's on, it's with Android and the Samsung that I use, the Samsung phone. It, it works with the Android and this is what I'm using, KineMaster. If you know of any other awesome editing apps, Please let me know. I would love to try some out. This is the only one that I've tried on my phone, and I absolutely love it, and I definitely recommend this app to anyone who's looking for some type of editing stuff for your phone. I don't have to transfer any of my stuff to my phone. This, this stuff is awesome, this app. Look at this gorgeous house. This house is amazing. It has 23 fireplaces. I think that's awesome. I think every house should have at least three fireplaces. This place has 23. I love that. So I did a little bit of research. I went on Wikipedia on the internet and I found out that uh, Frank Augustus Sieberling was an American inventor and founder. He is most famous for co-founding the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company in 1898. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, he also built Stan, Stan Hewitt Hall, a two-door revival mansion, now a National Historic Landmark and Historic House Museum in Akron, Ohio. So, oh, it says right here, career, son of a German-American entrepreneur from Ohio. And um, this guy's name is Frank Sieberling. So... Uh, th there is so much to say about this family, and I don't even want to pretend like I know everything about this family and about this home. This place is gorgeous, and uh, I, I'm I'm getting the I'm getting goosebumps right now because this place is just so awesome, and their history is pretty amazing. Everything about this place is just amazing. When you go inside this place you get goosebumps because it's so gorgeous. It's beautiful. That place is just beautiful. You can go every day and learn something new because they have tour guides there. And these people, they they tell you, they each know like certain stories or different parts of the history. And every time you go, if you, if you meet a new... Um, guide, tour guide, they'll tell you something different, so you're always learning something. It's pretty awesome. I'm really glad I came here, and I hope you enjoy watching this video. I This video does no justice to the actual beauty of this place. I really wish that um, maybe one of you, when you get a chance, you come visit this place, and if you can't, then maybe go on YouTube and try to find an even better video that shows off this place uh, better than what I did today. But this is taken with my phone. Nothing fancy. Like I said, I'm using the Samsung Mega. And I tried my best to not, you know, move around too much, but I did a lot of walking. And I was carrying some heavy stuff on my shoulders. It was just crazy. None of the kids want to carry anything, and of course, they leave mom to carry everything, so I did my best. So I just want to talk a little bit about some of the comments I've been getting on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. I've been getting a lot of positive feedback on my out and about videos. I've, I'm getting a lot of comments about um, they're enjoying them. Someone said that they're unique. And um, someone else mentioned that none of the other nail videos, the other uh, YouTube channels, do out and about type videos where they go out with their, um, you know, to whatever store and kind of like tap on random things. Uh, I like the fact that um, for now I'm the only one doing this. I don't know if someone else is going to start doing that um, anytime soon, maybe... Maybe I'm going to influence someone, and maybe I inspire someone to do it. I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, if it doesn't happen, you know, 
But um, I just want to say that I really appreciate all the comments and all of the likes and all the positive feedback I'm getting on those videos. I really didn't know what response I would get from that. When I first started doing out and about videos, um, I wasn't I wasn't really sure what to expect from my viewers. And I did get some mixed um, comments, some saying that uh, that's not ASMR or um, some telling me that I'm wasting my life doing that or whatever. But for the majority of my viewers, I'm guessing the people that uh, don't like my videos, they're just people who happen to, you know, stumble upon my channel or that specific video and they don't like it. So they let me know that they don't like it, whatever. But for the majority of the people, they're probably my actual viewers or subscribers. And by the way, I want to say real quick, 90 something percent of my viewers are not subscribed to me. That's a lot. That's, that's, that's a big a lot. 90 something percent of my viewers are not even subscribed to me. That kind of hurts my feelings. I, I don't know why people are not. People are watching my videos either because they hate my nails and they think I'm a freak show and they think I'm gross and ugly and I'm a joke. So they watch my videos to make fun of me. I don't know if that's it or they really like my videos, but they're scared that someone's going to find out that they're liking my videos so they don't want to subscribe to me because they're scared that someone, someone like one of their friends is going to make fun of them. I don't know what, I don't know why 90 something percent of my viewers are non-subscribers. That really shocked me when I found out that the majority of my viewers are non-subscribers. I don't know, I don't know why that is and I wish if, if you watch my videos and you're not subscribed, maybe you can answer that for me and I'm not saying I want everyone to subscribe to me, but 90 something percent of my viewers are non-subscribers. There has to be something I'm doing wrong or like it has to be something that I'm doing for people to not want to subscribe. It just doesn't make sense to me because it, I don't know, I just think it's really weird. And I would understand if it's maybe 30% of my viewers are non-subscribers, but 90-something, that's a lot. That's a crazy amount. That's a lot. I don't know. It's pretty insane. I don't even remember what I was talking about anymore. I was talking about how the majority of the comments on my out and about videos are positive. That's what I was saying. So the majority of the comments are positive and I really love that. I love it. I think it's amazing and it makes me want to go out and do more out and about videos. Um, I feel like going everywhere. I want to go to an Ulta store and Lush and Disneyland, everywhere. But there's, uh, I am sort of limited to where I can go right now because I kind of live in Ohio and I don't have Legoland near me or Universal Studios or Disneyland or Knott's Berry Farm. All of that awesome stuff is either in California, where I no longer live, or in Florida, which is about 21 hours away from me. I don't know. I have to look at Ohio amusement areas, amusement parks, and whatevers, and try to find those places and go there. If I can find awesome places in Ohio where you guys can't visit because you're in California, you have Universal Studios and Knott's Berry Farm and Six Flags, you have that, but you don't have this Sieberling Mansion, you don't have Stan Hewitt, so I think it's pretty cool that I did this video because not 
not a lot of people live in Ohio. So that's cool that I don't have Disneyland here, but in a way I have this gorgeous place and I'm sure there are so many awesome places in Ohio that I can visit and I can make videos and maybe not focus so much on my nails like, like I would want to. This place is just so gorgeous that I kind of felt bad for even trying to make a video of my nails because there's just so much to see in this. You, you come here and there's just so much to, to look at. I kind of felt bad for showing my nails in this video. But it's my out and about video and it's what I do. So I had to show my nails for a little. Just a little bit. I didn't try to hog it too much. But I'm going to try to Google everything I can about Ohio. Try to learn as much as I can. And try to get out there and do as many out and about videos for you guys. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Pinky promise. Well, as, as far as long as they let me record. Stan Hewitt didn't let people take pictures of the inside. And just recently, maybe about a month ago, they changed that. I don't know why they did it. I think it was smart. They now allow uh, visitors to take video, not video, I, I meant to say pictures. I don't know about video and I didn't, I didn't ask, I should have asked, but I'm, I'm thinking that it's okay to take video of the inside, but I didn't want to risk it and look at this gorgeous place. This is just beautiful. Gorgeous. I think next time I come, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask if I can take video of the inside. And hopefully, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed, hopefully they say that I can take video of the inside. Or, or, I could be, I could be ghetto and not ask and take video of the inside. And hopefully nobody says anything. I know that's wrong, but uh, it was just, I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to do that, and I'm not going to do that. But it was just like, ha ha joke, ha ha. So I'm not going to do that. It was just a thought. It, it sort of, it was sort of a thought. Like a ha ha thought. Funny thought. Wouldn't that be funny if I'm in there recording and someone asks me politely to please not record and then I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. But like inside, like in my head, I'm like, oh man, I got caught. Yeah, that would suck for me. That would be bad for me. Not good. I don't like being told that I'm wrong. So I, I would prefer to be on the safe side and not mess with whatevers. You know what I mean? I went to the mall today and I went into icing. I ended up getting a $20 gift card. I wanted to add that to the to the prize to the person who wins the the prize to whoever wins they're going to have six prizes to pick from whatever prize they pick they are still going to get that $20 gift card. So that gift card will come regardless of which prize that person picks. I wanted to get like three gift cards or six gift cards but nobody wanted to give me a gift card. I went to Spencer's, Target, uh, Icing, I went to Hot Topic, nobody wanted to give me a gift card. So what I did is I went to Icing and I asked them, they said no. Well, they, they referred me to, uh, to their corporate Icing. I didn't do that. I, a lot of them actually referred me to their corporate whatevers. I did do the one for Target and I think Spencer's and Hot Topic. Nobody replied back. They didn't even deny me. They just ignored me, except for Target. Target was the only one who answered my email. Of course, they 
they told me they don't sponsor individuals, but they did refer me to their affiliate, their target affiliate, their target affiliate program. And I did apply for it, and I believe I was accepted into it, but I ended up, um, I ended up not actually doing much with it because I don't understand how to use it. I'm new to it, and I haven't been able to understand it. I ended up going to Target real quick, making this quick video. So I haven't been able to do much with the Target Affiliate Program, but I'm really looking forward to trying it out and seeing how that works out for me. So here's the end of my video. Thank you very much for watching everyone. My husband took a lot of awesome pictures of my nails earlier this morning, and I really wanted to post all of them on Instagram, but there are over 60 pictures. and. I tried to post the the ones that I thought were the prettiest on Instagram. I'm on Kind Master on my phone. I'm doing this editing on my phone and some of the pictures here seem like they're way too cropped. I don't know if that's the way it's going to look on on YouTube once it's uploaded. I'm hoping it's not going to look this way, but if it is, I'm really sorry and if you'd like to see these pictures, I posted about 15 of them on Instagram so far. The nicest, the ones that I thought were the nicest ones, but there are just so many that uh, I will be posting more on Instagram. But the ones that are showing up here on Kind Master, they look like they're very zoomed in. So I'm not sure if that's if this is what it's going to look like on YouTube. If it is, I'm really sorry. This is not what I wanted, and I really don't know how to fix this. I'm going to have to mess with this a little bit more because it's not... I, I don't think it's doing what I want. Some of these look like they're way zoomed in. The little airplane thing, what is going on with that? What did I do to deserve that? I don't know what happened, but I kind of like that because I'm not able to put my name on my pictures here like I would want to and there's always that one that one person that wants to take my pictures and put them on their video put them on their Instagram or their Twitter account or whatever there's always that one person that wants to take my picture without permission and post it on wherever for that person here's Here's this little airplane thingy. If any of you see any of these pictures and you see that airplane, you know whose picture that is. You, nobody even has to say anything because that little airplane flying around will be in that picture. And some of these pictures, unfortunately, don't last that long. Some of them are like two seconds. So hopefully for that person that's even thinking about taking one of these pictures, take that. That airplane is for you. I, when, when I first saw that airplane, I was like, what is that airplane doing there? But then I thought of all those people that try to take my pictures and try to post them wherever. Take, take that. That airplane is yours. You have that airplane. It's for you. I'm leaving it there. It's the, you're the only reason why I'm leaving that airplane there. If it wasn't for people like you, you know who you are taking my pictures. If it wasn't for people like you, I wouldn't have to slap my C's nails on all my videos and all my pictures, all you thieves out there trying to take my videos and pictures. And that's not even all of you, it's like maybe 5% of you trying to take my pictures and videos. You know, that's not nice. I don't, I don't think anyone likes that. It's not nice. People shouldn't do that. And of course, you know, 
people don't care about nice sometimes. I'm not even going to get into that because there's just too much to say about that. So I'm just going to leave you here with these pictures. If you like this video, if you like out and about videos, like, comment, share. If you haven't subscribed, all of you, 90 something percent of you who watch my videos, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I don't know why 90 something percent of my viewers are not subscribed. That hurts my feelings and uh, I don't I don't really need an explanation but if you feel like letting me know why you watch my videos all the time but you don't want to subscribe then please let me know. I am curious but I am not requesting anyone to to actually explain themselves. I'm just curious. So this video is almost over. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll post again soon. Bye!